on radio or not? I think I might be live. I'm not sure because the laptop's not working. I'm hoping my phone is. Let's wait and see. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. <sighs> huh. It appears that somebody is watching, so that means somebody can see me, fingers crossed, because the laptop just doesn't want to work today. <laughs> so I don't know. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Um, sorry I'm late. Hi Ali. Hi Andrea. Hi Katie. Sorry I'm late ladies. Um, and anybody else who's watching from anywhere. Um, I was very fortunate and um, was gifted a massage for today. And oh, it was divine. It was a chocolate massage. So it was even better. Um, so anyway, I'm going to not keep you. Uh, except to say this is going to be a quick one and hopefully new to some of you a way to colour in using alcohol markers, water markers, felt tip pens, anything like that. Um, so without further ado, let me switch around and we can see what we're going to play with. All right, hang on. Oh, I hate this bit. And switch and lights. Oh, I can't see if I'm in shot or anything because I haven't got the laptop still not decided it doesn't want to work. Okay, sorry about this. Um, running late and making boo boos. So, anyway, happy Valentine's. Hi, Kathy. Happy Valentine's, everyone. Um, these are the two cards I made for today's blog post, my alternative Valentines, um, because they're not sloppy. Um, this one's a little bit punny. It's you are all utterly awesome. And this one is you've got style. So I thought they were a bit of fun um, and I enjoyed colouring them in. Um, now, normally on our Monday afternoons, I use watercolour pencils or ink pads, but Today, I am going to be using what we call, what stamping up, stamping right markers. Now, these are basically um, felt tip pens that are water based and come with a fine bullet tip and a brush tip. Um, and the nice thing is, for me, they come in all the stamping up colours. So, as you will know, I'm a stamping up demonstrator here in the United Kingdom. And I use, as does Jill, we only use stamping up products on our blog and Facebook. Oh, thank you, Andrea. Love the texture on the otter. That's really cool. Um, let me lift that up. Can you see that? Okay, I can't tell. Hang on, the laptop appears to have decided it might like to work today. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's have another look. Oh, yeah, I appear to be there, but I can't quite see what's what yet. So, anyway. Um, yes, the otters are so cute. Um, I'll sh give you a quick look at that stamp set. Now, these stamps that I'm using all this week... Um, all the products I'm going to be using this week are free. They're free during celebration. Celebration is from January to the beginning of January to the end of February. And we offer um, free products with qualifying, qualifying sales. Now, there is a lovely little leaflet that shows us all the goodies. If you'd like one of these leaflets, you can see it all online. Um, you can give us a message and I'll get one out to you. Lots of nice good goodies in there, as you'll see this week. <laughs> I hope you'll look this week. Anyway, this is the Otters. Um, I love this little one down here peeking out the water. But the other set with the camper van, which I think is super cute too, is called Driving By. Now this one has got a, what do we call this? A Herbie car. Um, 
bug, no, no, the uh, uh, higher bee comes with the number 53 on the side and stripes. That's a beetle. That's the one. It's a beetle. So we've got a beetle, a camper van and a an old fashioned sports car. So I'm going to use the old fashioned sports car for the card we're making today because I want to show you how I coloured in my camper van to get some extra texture and shading in there. So let's put them to one side. Let's pop these stamps are um, cling stamps, red rubber cling stamps, and I'm going to break out a new one. I haven't used this one yet, but I'm rather partial to it because it looks like fun. So take off the backing. I have pre-made my card base today. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was a bit later than anticipated, but uh, hey ho. Right, let's line this up on the block. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we've got that. Yeah, that looks that looks relatively straight to me. Okay, so my trusty, very messy memento ink, which is just basic black ink. So we're going to tap, tap, tap. We're going to stamp it off because it's a new one. I haven't used it before, as always. I give it a little squidgel to get the any residue off. I am going to take my trusty bone folder when I can find it and give this a this card blank a reinforce and I think we're gonna go that way up what, what way do you think that way landscape or portrait thanks Katie yes my, my words are coming out slow because I'm so relaxed from my lovely chocolate massage it was chocolate oils, not actual chocolate, by the way, just to confirm that. And for the first time ever, I had a head and face massage. Oh, my days. It was divine. Um, portrait it is. Thank you, Alison. Yes, tap, tap, tap. Let's get this inked up and on there, because the important thing today is... <laughs> Andrea's just saying that she thinks I might have rubbed, she, the lady might have rubbed my brains away. Well, that could be very true. OK, so we're going to use our grid paper, as always, to line up to an attempt to get some straight lines. And one, two, three. Phew, that worked. <laughs> OK, so we're going to have a red racing car you know everyone loves a Ferrari it could be a Ferrari couldn't it um so <laughs> Jaguar uh, whatever it is it's gonna look good oh an, a, oh an Aston Martin a nice DBS no we won't go there right so what you will need is a lighter shade of red in this case I'm using Poppy Parade and a darker shade now I've pulled out all three reds from my um something like markers i've got cherry cobbler real red and poppy parade so i'm going to take out the real red and i'm going to use poppy parade and cherry cobbler the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take the bullet tip and i'm going to drop in some color so what i'm going to do is actually it's, i'm going to do little dots where the shading, I would like the shading to go. So I'm going to put the shading around the edges of my vehicle, up over the wheel arches. They don't have to be uniform, they don't have to be random. Along the bottom of the car door, and then back over this wheel arch. There we go. So you can see I've already added colour. I don't know if you can see this, but I will put, I will hold it up in a moment. Let me just show you. Can you see how I've added dots? Now, this is a technique that I first use with alcohol markers. And with alcohol markers, the colour spreads slightly. And because it's alcohol, you can layer colour up upon colour and blend them together. 
This is not alcohol markers. This is good old basic water-based marker pens. Um, so you're not going to get the same effect. But what I'm hoping is, afternoon Kay, that you're going to get some idea of where I'm going with this. So I'm just going to put in some more dots just along those edges again. I'm not keeping them neat. I am going outside the, the lines and all of those things that would normally say, don't do that when you're colouring in. So next I'm going to take my lighter shade of red. In this case, it's Poppy Parade. And I'm going to colour in over the top of my dots. Now these are not blender pen, uh, blends, so they're not alcohol markers. So you may get streaks. So you have to work quickly and cleanly and try not to go back over where you've already been. Apart from with the, the dots. Because we want the dots to, sh to just give us a bit of shading. So there we go. We've got a layer of colour down. Okay. Now I'm going to go back with my cherry cobbler. And I'm going to very carefully add some dots using the thicker end of the brush. What I'm trying to achieve is a little bit of shading without having too much colour laying down from the marker pens because being water-based they don't blend. You could do this with pens, with pencils, anything really. It works beautifully with alcohol markers I have to say. Um, Kay definitely would know this technique. Um, she's done this with me before. So I've done that. I'm going to go back in with my narrow tip. So far this is what we're looking like. Does it look as though it's got a little bit more? Yeah, you can definitely see it's got a bit more shading. So we're going to go back in with the finer tip. And we're going to do lots of little dots again. Now. I do urge you to be patient and if it's first you don't succeed it's only a piece of paper we can always redo it so as with all things practice makes perfect and I would highly recommend you practicing any coloring techniques really because um, it's fun basically it's fun and why wouldn't you Okay, so I'm going to take my uh, Poppy Parade and I'm going to go back in over with the narrow tip again and I'm just going to colour in some of these little bits that I've missed. Can you see there? It's a little bit of white there. Don't want those bits white. Our car is beautifully polished and shiny. It's not going to be dirty. And I'm going to be putting in these colours to give it the shading. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I um, hope you can see it. It's quite a quick and easy technique, really. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take, I have a selection of silvers. I have, what do I have here? I have Smoky Slate. Then a mid-tone, which is grey granite, and I have basic grey, which is a darker grey. I am going to use smoky slate for the fenders. The fenders, that's a very American word, isn't it? So for the bumpers on my car. And the headlight. And then I'm going to take the grey granite and I'm just going to put a little bit of shading down the sides where I want it to be, really. OK, 
Okay, now I'm going to take the brush tip and I'm going to colour in my hubcap. I don't know if this is a hubcap actually, I think it's probably a wheel, but <laughs> I'm not I'm not a particularly car orientated person, so this is about as much knowledge as I know. Okay, so we do have a dark grey and I'm gonna use that just to add some highlighty, shadowy parts onto the outer rim of this hubcap if that's what it is now the question is do i leave my car i just spotted a little bit of white i don't want that on the car there we go do i leave the wheels white oh thank you andrea do i leave the wheels white or shall i color them in black hmm I think I'm going to go for black. Uh, let me just check this is black because for some reason stamping up got them in a grey lid. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Let's go for it. Let's just put some black wheels on here. White wall tyres. Yes. Very 1950s. Okay. Oh, this is keeping, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm colouring in a small area, I tend to hold my breath. <laughs> and now I'm trying to colour talk and, oh dear, it's all getting a bit much for me. I'm, I'm not really that good a multitasker. Okay, so that's looking a bit struggly. Let's use the other end to tidy it up. Going back in. Now, I can highly recommend these marker pens because I think they are very good. But anything you are comfortable colouring with is good. Just don't stop doing it. Keep it up. Now, today is Valentine's Day, as I said earlier. And... Uh, one of the things I, was, I wrote about this morning on the blog post was when it's Valentine's, we shouldn't be worried about whether we've got partners or whatever else. Valentine's should actually be about taking care of ourselves and, um, you know, giving ourselves a bit of self-love. You know, we're all worth it and why not? So here we go. These are my yellows. I'm going to have yellow balloons simply because I like yellow balloons. Actually, I don't like balloons at all because they go pop and they make me jump. Um, <laughs> these are the yellows I have. I have So Saffron, Crushed Curry and Daffodil Delight. I'm going to be using my Daffodil Delight and Crushed Curry. So my Crushed Curry is my darker colour. So I'm going to put my little dots in here. A little bit of shading around the side. And fortunately... When you use a stamped image, very often they actually have the lines where you need the shade or light or whatever to go in. Ah, so that's very handy. Let's go back to this nice bright daffodil delight. And again, I'm not going to go... Hi Fiona! I'm not colouring all the way to the edges because I get nervous about that with the brush end. So I'll go back with the pen narrow bullet tip, whatever we call it, and go back in and colour that like that. That is very true. And that is where my trusty white gel pen comes in handy um this isn't stamping ups we used to sell them which but we don't any longer which is a great shame but i'm going to go back with my uh crushed curry with the narrow nib and do some dots around those edges to give it a bit of 
definition and then I'm going to take my gel pen. Now, my gel pen appears to be quite... Oh, oh yep, it is working. <laughs> so I'm going to take that and just put some little lights on there. I'm also going to do that on the bonnet of my car very gently and take a finger and smudge because this is gel pen it's wet and I can get away with it and a little bit on there and a little bit on there and that looks okay to me now I just need a blue pen for my windshield windscreen do I need a blue pen for windscreen I'm going to leave that for a minute because I have to make a road first because I don't like things just floating around. We usually put a um, blue out line around it or a grey shadow or something. But today I'm going to do a make a road. Now, I'm turning it this way because... No, I'm not. I'm turning it this way because I'm silly. I, I get things confused. So I'm going to use the brush end of my black marker pen. You could use any pen. And I'm going to draw a line just up to and just beyond and then a few dashes. And then I'm going to draw one foot bit further down and a few dashes. looks okay to me it's driving on the road now um what do i need to do now in this super super duper quick i think i need a sentiment oh driving by to say hi that sounds good to me oh, it's been very busy here jill and i are getting ready for our annual um in-person weekend retreat and it is very, very busy. Lots of ordering and planning and creating projects. <laughs> At some time, I will get round to making projects. So we've got a new, ink, new stamp. So we're going to go tap, tap, tap. Stamp it down. And squidge a little bit. Oh, see, it's a good job I did because it's upside down. Because I really struggle with reading stamps that are back to front and goodness knows what else so let's bring that back in try and keep it straight and driving by by would be on the left wouldn't it because it's behind yeah don't worry about me I'm just chatting away to myself and one two three driving by just to say hi now, this technique does work really well with animals because it gives you the feeling of texture in their fur. As you can see, I really went to town with it on there. Um, but I like the effect it has. I wonder if you do. Is it something you try? I'm going to get my gel pen just out again because I really want that to stand out a bit. And that's it. I'm no artist, that's why I stamp. But I quite like that. I think that worked well. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Quick, <laughs> very simple. Make it simple Mondays. Gotta be quick, gotta be easy. Um, and that's it from me. Um, have a great week. Uh, look forward to seeing you next week. Um, and I can't remember what I was going to say now. So I think, hi, mum. Very cute and different. Oh, thank you. Um, take care, everybody. Look after yourselves and have a nice Valentine's evening. And see you all soon. Bye.